Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Good day. This is Eileen Castellano. Welcome to my 21 day challenge. We are working on limitations today. What kind of limitations do you feel that you put on yourselves? What kind of limitations do you know that you have um, towards things that are good for you and things that you know that you block? And it's not something that you do on purpose, but it's definitely something that that is happening. It's definitely something that is creating an effect in your journey and what it is that you want to achieve and what it is that you want to control and what it is that you want to um, that you want for yourself, for your life, for your family, for your career. And so when we're looking at this opportunity or these opportunities that we have of creating a life that is limitless, yet we put all of these limitations, then you know, you've got to make a decision. What is it about placing those limitations? And a lot of times, it's not only what people have told us in the past that we can and cannot do. It also has to do with the fact that we have um, that we have created these limited limitations that we don't believe that we're good enough. That we decided that you know what, that's that's too big of a goal, or that's that's too much of a stretch or I can never see myself in that, in that place or in that position because that's, that's too much work. Or it's too hard for me to get there. And so I want you all today to assess what are the limiting beliefs that you have? Where did those limiting beliefs come from? Where have you placed those limitations upon yourself? When did you stop thinking that you deserve to have it all? When did you stop thinking that great things are here for you? Because it's impossible to be in this mentality of being limitless and knowing that you're unstoppable and that you're ready to achieve and grab what is yours and, and run for what it is that you want to achieve and, and connect to and, and to create this beautiful life that you deserve of having it all and creating the life of your dreams. When you're, when you're focusing and when you're stuck in the limitations in the ceiling and feeling like, there's, there's a limit, like when, when you talk about, for some people saying something like, well, no, because you can make a million dollars and they say impossible, like that would never happen to me. That's a limitation or that's a limiting belief. When somebody says something like, oh, you're ready to finally find and connect to that passionate lover and romantic partner. And they say, absolutely not. I'm just looking for someone, you know, that I'm going to grow old with. So all of these are limiting beliefs. We do that with our kids. Um, I remember when my daughter applied to Columbia University and she was like, mom, you know, I'm going to submit the application because they have the program that I'm going to school for. And I said, of course, go ahead and apply. And there were people that had told her, including her friends, you know, what are you even doing? Like, why would you apply to Columbia University? Really, Katrina? Like, you're going to go to Columbia University? And guess what? She got accepted and she did. And she fulfilled her master's program and she came out brilliantly successful. And, and it opened a bunch of doors for her because she did not allow the limiting beliefs to be part of, her, of, of what um, of her makeup or what it is that she wanted for herself. She wanted what was limitless, what was the possibility. And so I'm asking you all today to take a look at what are your limiting beliefs? Where do you feel that you extend yourself too much or that you're wanting to acquire something or to obtain something in your own life that you think is going to be impossible or improbable for you to have and achieve? Because I'm asking you to go ahead and turn that around. I'm asking you to take that information and look at it again and realize that there are no limitations unless you put them there. You know, when I, when I started this whole process of working on becoming a speaker and authoring my books and wanting to expand my practice from seeing clients one-on-one one -on -one all the time, of course, at first it was scary as all. And I had to get beyond that and realize, well, do I want to work 50, 55 hours a week, or am I ready to travel and, and see a lot more people in less amount of time so that I'm not spending it in an office seeing a limited amount of clients when I can be limitless and take my 
my message to the masses and take my message out into humanity, which has been my goal all along is to write books and to be able to share with so many people that I may never have access to on a one on one, but will have access to my mission and to my message. And so think about how it is that you can take your limiting beliefs and your limitations that you put there yourself. Because a lot of times we want to blame everybody else. Oh no, my mom said I wasn't good enough. My dad wasn't there. My boyfriend or my husband um, also didn't believe in me or my children. You know, they were too much work. And so I decided I was just going to dedicate my whole life to raising kids. And I'm saying to stop. I'm saying to stop right now and just assess where are these beliefs and these thoughts and these emotions coming from? And if you had to rewrite it all over again, where would you find yourself limitless and ready to expand, to step into the life that you deserve, to step into that golden light that helps you to feel like you're on it, like your life is amazing, like you get to have it all because you deserve to have it all. And so I'm leaving you guys with this message today. I want you to assess how you're going to be releasing limitations, limiting thoughts, limiting emotions, all these limitations that you have placed on your journey in this life. And you're going to release them so that you can renew and step into what it is that you want to be limitless, where you want to expand your possibilities and the probability that all that you want is already here and now. And all you've got to do is decide and choose and accept that it's your turn. Because I know that if I did it, being in the circumstances, situations, four kids, not a good relationship at home, seeing so many clients a week, trying to expand, trying to feel good about myself, trying to stay strong, trying to stay grounded. And if I was able to come out of it and I was able to do it, I promise you all that you can do it too because I believe that you can. And all you've got to do is believe that you can too. Thank you, Olga and Betsy, for always showing up, for being such a support to my program and to my work and for expanding the message and sharing it with people that you love. Thank you so much for all of you checking in and listening, whether you do it on Facebook Live or you do it on your own time. Remember, we are releasing limitations and we are renewing to be limitless. And so I'm going to leave you off with this message today. I will be back at 1 o'clock tomorrow, and I hope to see you all tomorrow as well. Have an amazing, beautiful, blessed day. Thank you.